Some state lawmakers are hoping a new bill will allow for wine sales in major grocery stores, citing polling by customers who claim to want that option while they shop. But liquor store owners are sounding the alarm, saying if the measure becomes law, it could be the bottom of the bottle for business. Christian Garzone reports. Well, Teresa, this is not the first time this has been proposed. It was shot down in 2010 when liquor store owners showed up in Albany. Now, Nelson Hobbecker with East Ave Liquor said if push comes to shove, that might happen again. He said up to half of liquor stores in New York could be forced to close. Benjamin Franklin once said wine makes living easier with fewer tensions and more tolerance. To be clear, that was on the consumption of wine, not the actual selling of it. I think it's just a push by big business yeah. to grow larger and to get the profitable end of this business. Nelson Habecker with East Ave Liquor is reacting to a new bill in New York that would allow the selling of wine in full-service grocery stores. If that happens, he feels his days are numbered. But in fact, it's a great deal. It, it takes a lot of our uh, income away from us. So if you put wine in grocery stores, you'll allow us to only survive on the Spirits alone. Spirits, he said, are a smaller sales margin than what they get from wine. Habecker has a statistic to share if this happens. You'll put half of our businesses, half of our liquor stores in New York State out of business. We just won't have the ability to compete. Lawyer Rafael Pignataro says this could shake up the entire industry. So it's currently in the hands of the governor and legislator um, for review. He did say, though, there are other aspects of this that could be added incentives for liquor stores. Expanding potential products, expanding potential hours. So, you know, as an initial matter, I don't see a ton of pushback. According to State Senator Liz Kruger backing this bill, a recent poll showed New Yorkers support buying wine in grocery stores 76 percent to 19 percent, and it's supported by a majority of Republican and Democrat voters. It will also generate a total of 1,900 new wine licenses at these grocery stores across the state. Still, Habecker says for so many, this will be a final toast. And you're going to find half our businesses are going to go out of business because they can't support themselves. And you heard it in there. This is being reviewed in committee. Where this all goes from here, we'll have to wait and see. Teresa. Christian, thank you. Some 40 states already allow the sale of wine in major grocery stores. Coming